Hello, everyone. Well, um, my name is Patricia, and I'm doing a microdosing protocol, and I wanted to document how that's going. I've just started. This is day one of the James Fetterman protocol, which is one day you take uh, the plant medicine, the next day you don't, and the final day you also don't. But what should be happening is obviously you're weaning off the effects of it. So you kind of get an interim day and then a day where you should feel completely normal. The, the, the whole idea of microdosing is that you have really about a tenth of what you would take to get a psychoactive response. And so um, the reason I'm taking it actually, um, and I'm, I'm taking a boga, which is a very you know, well-respected plant medicine. It's a root, I believe, I think I'm right. Or is it the bark? I can't remember. I should know that. Um, is because it's very good for anxiety. And being a highly sensitive person, uh, my anxiety is just always up here. And it doesn't take much to trigger me into a stress response. And so my, my aim for this is to kind of ground myself. And that's what I've been told Iboga does. And But I've always been very scared of doing a ceremony or anything like that, because they take very large amounts. And it feels like that would be overwhelming for me. I've always been very sensitive to uh, supplements, any any drug, whether pharmaceutical or non. Um, I can't really tolerate much. I, f I find I'm really freaked out by things that change my mental process. So the, the microdosing idea is that you take much less than you'd need to get a substantial shift. Uh, and it should be just so that you can carry on doing a normal day job your normal work um, but you might notice some some shifts in your perceptions that are going to enhance your ability to be creative to feel good about yourself you know to feel grounded anyway that's the theory obviously what I wanted to do here is dictate uh, a little bit about how I'm feeling on day one I've just um, actually I've halved the half dose because it's day one um, and I think that's the, the dose was 0.25, so I'll have taken about 0.125 micrograms, I think it is. Um, and nothing so far, although actually I did have a thought a minute ago when I was looking at something that's quite stressful um, because I'm, I'm involved in a lot of um, crypto investments as well as normal investments. I, I play around a bit with money and I find it quite interesting. Uh, I did actually notice a thought occurred to me, well, it doesn't really matter so much. I don't need to get worried about that. It'll either get fixed or it won't kind of thing, which is, I don't often have that feeling. So that's interesting. That was the first thing I noticed was that there was a kind of, oh, don't worry about it, calm down kind of thing. Um, the trouble with having hobbies that are quite um, uncertain is yes, they're very exciting and the rewards are quite high if, if you do it well, but they're also, they're, they lack control. And so that is a trigger for anxious people. And if you have no control over something, so um, it's kind of, you're both drawn to and you're repelled by the activity. So you kind of a bit addicted to doing it because it's, it gives you a little bit of a high when you win and it's like playing a game, I suppose. Um, I don't want to sound like I'm an addict, I'm not, I mean, I, I do a little bit on the side just to gain a, an income. Uh, I don't make very much, to be fair. Um, but then I also have written books, and that's a little bit on the side as well. That's the sort of thing that I've done, and they, they're published, and I get a little bit from that each month as well. So I see it as part of this diversified portfolio that I have. But um, juggling all that can sometimes be really hard work, and you have to learn so much, and understand so much about what you're doing, particularly when you're not in control of the system that you're in. So, you know, whether that's your work or or it's the, in my case, the crypto um, platform, and they keep changing the rules and adding this, and they take start with a simple system, and then it all goes haywire. And, and that's what's going on at the moment. This is a lot of people very upset because, the, you know, one of the ones I'm using has been changed and massively actually. Um, and so, yeah, I'm noticing nothing much. I mean, I take a lot of plant medicines anyway, just generally I take ashwagandha, maca powder, but these are more considered supplements, but 
you know, there's a fine line, isn't there, between a, a supplement and a, a, a psychoactive component, because there are some psychoactive components to ordinary things. Um, it's just we don't recognize them and we're so dissociated from from the earth and from food you know which comes in supermarkets now instead of from the earth or you know that's how we perceive it i i just think well it's it's a continuum of of plant plant based information that's how i look at it having researched into plants i've i've done a lot of work i've written books on you know uh how plants sense information and how they transmit information when we take food in via plant foods it's not just calories and minerals and vitamins it actually has dna it has uh it has water which is activated water biological water is very different to water at the tap um and so we're, we're taking in information and to me therefore what i'm doing is i'm just i'm experimenting with more intensive information i guess and seeing how that feels and right now yeah um there might be something going on. My brain feels a little bit um, activated in a strange way. Yeah, it might be. Um, but, you know, the, the whole idea is that it's really mild and you have an intention. You're not just doing it for, um, you know, recreation. You're doing it for health. You're doing it to experiment a little with the psyche, you know, find out what's going on why you're anxious why you feel the way you do and what you need to do and no plant is going to fix you but it might point the way it might give you insights into why you are the way you are and uh, i know i've always been like you know really highly highly strung we used to call it um but we now recognize it's high sensitivity and it's a, a, the way your brain works so um yeah i'm just going to go through record every week, hopefully, um, make a note, I'm gonna journal every day and see how, how it feels, uh, how I compare with my days on and my days off and see if I get more you know, work done, more creative. Some people um, say that, or they wanna go out into nature. Well, I do that every day anyway. So, um, you know, I feel very connected. I've always felt very connected, but as I've got older, I've been more and more and more connected to nature. So this morning I went out uh, for my morning run and I just picked up a branch that someone had snapped off a new a, a tree that had just been about to bud it makes me want to cry actually that people do that I I mean it was a big tree so it's not a huge loss one branch but why do people want to damage things why do they want to break stuff off I don't understand so I brought it home um this branch with the buds and I'm going to put it in water and see if it it's able to at least leaf up and if it is I might try and uh, graft it somewhere you know put it in the soil see if it roots but I don't think it will I, trees don't usually do that um, uh, but we'll see you never know um, so I go out in nature a lot anyway so but I'll probably go out later too and I'm I've got uh, I've got a massage today actually I'm doing a massage for a friend and um, for somebody who's got a knee problem and so that'll be interesting because you know you have to really connect with the person when you're doing that so that would be interesting to see if I connect more or it feels any different so anyway day one um, and I shall be going through yeah once a week I'll, I'll report in and then hopefully let you know how it's all going um, but I, I'll post some links in the description for uh, James Fadiman's protocol um, I think that's his name anyway <laughs> If I've got that wrong, I'll correct it in the description. Uh, but he's a guy that's been talking about this for years and um, seems to be, a, he's a researcher. So, you know, this is research-based stuff. So they used it in their protocol and they kind of refined it. Um, and it certainly appealed to me better than, um, there's a Stamets protocol, which is four days on, three days off. That to me sounds too much. So as a highly sensitive person, I've got to, see how I go and adjust of course that's the other thing that um James talks about is you there's no thing there's no such thing as a standard dose you have to adjust for your biochemistry and that's biochemical individuality and I've talked about that in my books 
and it's something that's not recognized in medicine we have a standard dose for everybody regardless of size or gender um which is just not how the body is you know we all metabolize at different rates depending on our genetics and so it's crazy to uh to have one dose and you you basically need to be a little bit aware of that um certainly when you're doing this so as i say i've started low let's see what happens and uh, i'll tune in next week all right thanks for listening bye for now bye